Hi everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is Linda and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to roast a chicken, but we're not going to roast it today. We're going to prep it today, cover it, and let it sit in your refrigerator for two days. So pull up a chair and let's get started on this recipe. I have already salt and peppered very well the inside cavity of this chicken. I've also released the skin from the outside. Now this is the back of the chicken. How do we know? because if this chicken was alive this would be the tail and that would be the back. The breast is what we're going to work with. So here's our breast and you can see where I release the skin. I'm going to take, this is thyme. This happens to be fresh. If you don't have fresh thyme, um, make a compound butter out of some thyme. And uh, what we're going to do is shove this, let me get him around. We're going to put this time up under the skin. The first one we're going to get as close to the thigh as we can. And when you uh, separate your skin, be, be careful. Try very hard not to um, break it. Of course, if it breaks, there's nothing you can do about it. So, here we go. Now this is going on the breast. I'm going to push it down as far as I can. <laughs> Which it doesn't look like it's going to be very far. Some of this didn't release like it should. There we go. So I'm pushing that time on down in there. We want to cover this breast. And I've got a couple more pieces here. That's one side. Here goes the other side. Well, I got a, another one. I don't want to waste it. So we'll just go ahead and slide it on in here. Now, I've sliced up. I use three cloves, but I sliced up three cloves of garlic. Same deal. Over by the thighs. Thigh on this side. Get it on in there. And this one is going up towards the top of the breast. On one side and then I'm going to take this garlic and um, get it on the other side, just push it in. There, because we want That's all the garlic. All right, now all right, we got all that thyme and garlic. We got everything in there. Now we're going back to the inside cavity, and I have quartered one large lemon. I'm going to open this cavity up 
squeeze this lemon along the sides because if you squeeze it down the middle it's just going to come out the neck <laughs> right and throw the lemon peel the remainder of that lemon right in there was two here's three and four that's all of the quartering right there leave it in there now, um, here's another little piece of garlic. I'm going to throw it in right there. All right, now I'm going to wipe my hands off. I'm not going to wash them because I'm going to be touching this chicken again. All right, now you know we've got the breast side up because this little tail is down at the bottom. And that would be the back. And I'm not going to even fool with uh, seasoning the back. You can if you want to. Liberally salt. Come on and pepper this side of the chicken the breast side Not going to worry about getting the the uh, little wings tucked in or anything. All right, we're going to take this chicken, and I've got a full covered um, baking sheet. I'm going to put it on the baking sheet. Any juices that came out, I'm just I'm going to pour it on the chicken. I'm not going to waste them. Let me throw this in the sink. hands off. Now the only thing I'm going to do is cover this tightly with uh, whatever you want to. I'm going to continue to use aluminum foil and set it in your refrigerator and leave it for two days. Two days! 48 hours! It's okay if it's 40 but I mean you know over a day. Then we'll be back. Well, hey everybody. The chicken's been in the refrigerator for, well, I started this Sunday afternoon and it is now Tuesday afternoon. The only thing I've done since the last time I saw you, and you should really do it before you put it in the refrigerator, I forgot, is tie the legs together. Now, I'm going to just baste this little hen <clears throat> with some olive oil.
And notice we're not flipping him over to do it. We're just doing, this is the breast side. Remember how I told you to tell the breast side? The little tail flap is down. Down against whatever, the pan or the uh, countertop, whatever. All right. So now, preheat, I hope you've already done it, preheat your oven to 500 degrees. 500 degrees. And line a large cast iron skillet if you've got one with a country style bread. I I used uh, baguettes. What the recipe I saw was long bread. It was three pieces, two one way and one the other. So I hope this is okay and doesn't burn. Now we're going to lift this bird, put him in this pan, breast side up, which is the way he is. You can see his little feet right here. So I'm going to lift him up. Everything's still inside of him. And let me turn this around. Remember how we tuck the other wings? Well, this we're just going to put under him. Same, same type uh, deal, but just there we go. Let me get my little brush here and brush these little wings. All right. That's it. No grease, no nothing else on this bird. He is going, she, she's going in the oven, 500 degrees, for 30 minutes with the breast up. Then you can get two spoons, one on either end, and flip it over. And then it's 15 minutes um, with the breast down. <clears throat> so he's she's ready to go because this is I guess a hen and um, I'm gonna put her in there I wonder if I should put some of this this is the lemon juice that kind of came out I, I'm I guess it's because I forgot to tie the legs together but maybe not I don't know all right let me put this away all right she's going in the oven 30 minutes breast side up flip it over 15 minutes breast side down don't forget the bread and uh, when that takes place we'll be back while that chicken's cooking, we're going to whip up some salad dressing. So, I've got a quarter of a cup of champagne vinegar. This is a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and a teaspoon of minced garlic. Try to get it out of the spoon, but there we go, that's good enough. Half a cup of olive oil. Get that going. Got oil all over my hands now. Now the recipe called for three scallions, green, dark green included. 
I only did two because I don't know to me too much onion it just takes over the dressing and I want to taste the dressing so that's two sliced up scallions with the white and green parts it called for currants well here in this lovely little podunk town I live in which I love but I mean they don't have currants here so what I've used is craisins currants are smaller than regular raisins although they're in the raisin family um, they're also more tart so cranberries being more tart I thought that would be a good thing to use so these are craisins combination of cranberry and raisin and then let's see where's my kosher I'm gonna add a little bit of kosher salt Excuse me, the same amount of um, pepper. I'm going to stir it all up. And of course, I'm going to give it a taste because nothing worse than a flat tasting. dressing and we don't want that do we all right let's see here's our spoon that had the Dijon on it maybe I can get some more of it out see it needs more salt it's very flat amount of salt you add, you know, taste, add some, taste it, if it's not enough, add some more. And we're just going to set this aside until the bird's ready. Once we get it seasoned the way we want it, and then I'll bring you back. Alright, our chicken's done. But right now I got arugula in this salad bowl and the dressing that we made earlier gets poured right over the top of it. And toss it around. Get that all mixed in. Then, you remember in the iron skillet I had bread in the bottom? Well, it kind of burns when you bake the chicken, but it's delicious, trust me. So, I'm going to put a little bit of this salad on a plate for Sam. Well, let me go on record as saying I've never had arugula. Yes, you have. <laughs> You just didn't know it. Get some of that. Well, I tell you, it makes me think it's either Thanksgiving or Christmas. This is a fancy meal. This is the bread, and believe me, it is. It it looks burnt, and it but it doesn't taste burnt. Sam and I've been in it. How is it, Sam? It's delicious. Taste. It's a very delicious crouton. Is what it is. It's okay. what it reminded me of. All right, there's a salad. Now I want you to look at this chicken. I am not a good chicken carver, or I would have shown this to you right away, but I am not good at it. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> but I will tell you one thing about this chicken. It is juicy. Look at, can you see that? I can just mash that. It's succulent. You want breasts, don't you? It's succulent. Do you want breasts? Yeah, anything. It's all delicious. It's 
It's so good, y'all. You would not believe how good this chicken is. It, it's just uh, juicy and flavorful. It is super delicious. And I'm going to give that to Sam. Mm -mm. And let's see what he thinks about this. Well, what do you want me to, the chicken the or chicken the salad? The chicken first and then the salad. Mm-mm-mm. It's super tender, super juicy. Let's see how it tastes. Mm-mm-mm. You hardly even have to chew it. It's so tender. I don't believe I've ever tasted any of that tender. It's super delicious. It's, it's got a roasted taste to it. Taste a little garlic and thyme, and uh, it's just a little. You couldn't. I've never had tender uh, chicken this tender. I don't think. What don't, about the lemon? Can you taste? Yeah, it? you can. There's a hint of lemon in there. Let's see if I can cut one of these and show them. Mm, mm, can mm. you see that? Look. Well, I've had them cooked rotisserie, smoked, grilled, but I've never had one this tender before. Well, Delicious know. chicken. Sorry I'm such a bad carver, y'all. And what do you think about that salad with the homemade dressing? It's very, very good. It's, it's different from any regular salad I've had. I love the... I call them croutons, bread. Dressing is delicious. You like those craisins in there? Yeah, they do add to it. Part cranberry and part raisin. Uh -huh. Add just a little tartness to them. And this is a vinegar and oil based dressing. I mean, mm -hmm. Dijon, well, mustard, and it's delicious. The onions, scallions. It's super. It's super diff different from any salad I've ever had, and the chicken is absolutely the best I've ever had. So well, you thank go. you, Sammy. Okay. Can't beat this chicken. Okay, guys. Thank you for coming in today. I hope you try this meal. I Honestly, I saw this. Uh, this is an Ina Garten uh, recipe, and I was so impressed with it, watching her cut it and all, or it being cut and how juicy it was, I said, I am going to share that with them. So the salad is hers and the chicken recipe is hers. And the recipe for both will be down below. Thank you for coming in, spending part of your day with me. Give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe. And until next time, you take care and God bless.